What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Just yesterday, Minecraft 1.18, the Caves and Cliffs Part 2 update released, and this update was initially the home of the Warden and the Deep Dark. This was supposed to be an update uh, where we saw a new kind of boss going into the Caves of Minecraft, but they delayed it in order to make it bigger and better than we could have ever imagined. It's definitely going to be worth the wait, especially with the little teasers that we've seen so far. Instead of just simply the Deep Dark, now we're going to be getting the Ancient cities so there's definitely a lot to talk about when looking at the warden back in 2020 versus the warden and the deep dark in 2021 of course we won't actually be seeing this update until next year hopefully for the summer but possibly even later in the year this is definitely going to be a very large update mojang is definitely outdoing themselves with all these huge updates that they're putting into the game so coming next year, the Wild Update 1.19 is going to have the Warden and the Deep Dark, which includes the Ancient Cities now. If we look back at 2020 at the uh, little sneak peek we got of the Warden and the Deep Dark back then, there was a few things we noticed such as candles, there was kind of a darkness effect, and there was also a small loot room. This was of course very interesting at the time, we really want to know what was inside the loot room especially and how exactly the Warden would work. The Warden is of course a blind mob and would find you based off of sound. Now, all the way in 2021, at the last Minecraft Live event in October, they gave us a brand new look at the Warden and what we're actually going to be getting in 1.19. Of course, a lot of this is still subject to change. We don't even have any snapshots or experimental betas of this yet, but it's definitely going to be very interesting to see what the final product is, especially now that we've seen this look at the Ancient Cities and the upgraded Warden. So the Warden's textures are still basically the same. We have the giant bigger than an iron golem look, but the Warden does have a few different features that we didn't see back in 2020. Namely, the heartbeat is one of the big things you really notice, especially when we were watching the teaser trailer shown at the Minecraft Live event this year. It definitely adds a sense of depth to the Warden, makes it much scarier because it kind of mimics the heartbeat of the player as the player gets more and more nervous about trying to get away from the Warden. But another feature that was shown off in the 2021 version of the Warden was that the Warden now actually smells you as well as hears you. So back when they first announced the Caves and Cliffs update, the Warden could only hear you and that was of course a very interesting look and made the Warden a very unique mob to Minecraft, but now the Warden will actually be able to smell you as well, and I guess that's to circumnavigate uh, the problems that might be encountered if a player is sneaking very well or just standing in one place rather than trying to get away. Let's actually take a look at the clip from the Minecraft Live event this year and see how scary the Warden actually is. That clip was terrifying and shows just how powerful the Warden is as it actually two hit King Bee Dogs while he was wearing full netherite armor. It's going to be very interesting to see how much prop for enchantments will change that when the snapshots release uh, sometime uh, in the next few months. But for now, we just have to know that the Warden is very strong and can kill you very quickly, so it's best to avoid it. 
Another thing to notice from that clip is the warden actually emerged from the skulk blocks. So back in the last look at the warden, it was actually just wandering around the deep dark. But instead now, it's actually going to be within the skulk blocks and you're not going to have to deal with it as long as you are quiet enough. Activating the Skulk Sensor Blocks and the Skulk Catalyst Blocks too many times is actually what's going to trigger the Warden to emerge from the Skulk Sensor Blocks in the Ancient Cities. Now we did actually get a look at some of the loot that was in the Ancient Cities. Uh, it looked like just some regular strings, some enchantment books. It's going to be the things we normally find, but they are planning on adding in some unique blocks down here as well. And as far as we are aware, there still will be no drop for the Warden as they're trying to encourage players to avoid it rather than actually kill it. So while we still may not know what exactly is going to be the item that you can find in these chests, it is going to be unique and apparently very useful. I'm very excited to see what Mojang comes up with when actually implementing an item into those ancient cities. It definitely has to be something that relates to the ancient cities and also to the warden a little bit. I'm wondering if it's going to be something that relates to sound as well. Possibly even the goat horn or something related to it as we still don't have any updates as to what the goat horn is going to do or how you're going to acquire it. It was initially going to be dropped directly off of goats but since that hasn't really come about in these recent updates, it's still all up in the air. That is pretty much all that we have for today's video though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We have a ton of different Minecraft content and you'll definitely enjoy our videos. So stick around, check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.